Yeah. yeah, guys, we are we are in the gym here in Australia, Impact Fitness, home gym of this young man right here. Hey friends, it's been too long, I missed you. What are we doing today? We're gonna do a push day today. So we're gonna run through some compound movements to start in chest, Yep. get onto sure. some shoulders, and then uh, some horses. triceps. So uh, new year, new training split, we've been talking about that. I'm doing push-pull legs, day off, push-pull legs, really focusing on heavy compound movements early on in the week. So this gym pretty much has every single piece of equipment you could ever need or we could ever need. So it's gonna be a great chest day, great push day I should say for that. And we're gonna start off with chest. Let's jump into it. Starting today off, incline dumbbell press, using just a, I'd say a 45 degree angle grip. So biggest thing when we work on chest is trying to touch the elbows. Not necessarily trying to touch the dumbbells because that's just gonna be a lot of anterior delt, but when you try to touch the elbows, it brings a lot more pec into it. So incline here, working on that upper pec a little bit, using a rep scheme of 12, 10, 8, 6. So pyramiding up in weight, and really that last set should be nice and heavy. You know, I'm saying we're sticking away from true absolute failure until that last set. So I would say the first set of 12, we're doing a weight that we could use to for about 14 reps. 10, maybe you would have one more. Eight, something you fail at on your own. Six, something you need a partner to help you out on that six rep. That's how we're working it today. Concentric, eccentric is just kind of a normal rep range, which means it's controlled but we're not really slowing things down. It's just a smooth, eccentric, concentric. All right, so our set of 10 that I could probably get 11. That's what you're saying. Like, I'm saving one in the tank here on this one. Biggest thing is full range of motion. Just because we're doing it more quickly doesn't mean we're shorting up the range of motion. Full range of motion, really trying to touch those elbows. Even though you're not gonna be able to touch them together, think about that process. on this last two. So the problem with training with a big strong man is my stupid ego gets in the way. I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll lift heavier than I should. So we've jumped for up to 47.5s. The problem is that I have, I don't know what these really are in pounds. <laughs> so I'm just saying, oh yeah, that looks about right. I'm supposed to get eight here, I'm supposed to fail on eight here. So on this one, don't extend the set. You know, this isn't one of the ones that, obviously if you're on your eighth one and you can't get it up, your partner needs to help you. Our sixth set, really we're pushing past failure with the use of a partner. This one should be all you. Impact goes up to 50s, which is about 110, 110. That'll be, I think, plenty enough after doing three sets. This one, all out. Give everything you got and then have your partner spot you on a plus one. Final set there. Final set. Got nine with a partner help. Eight. Eight without. We're nice and warm. It's summertime here in Australia. It's always this, summer. It is always summer. 
this gym doesn't have AC. It has some big ass fans, which is keeping us pretty nice, but definitely don't have to warm up too much to start sweating. So I'm thinking uh, we're gonna jump into our working sets here. Three working sets, six to eight reps. Um, try to go to failure on each and every one of these sets. So hit failure, have a partner spot you here. Um, what we're gonna be doing, because we just did heavy incline dumbbell, I'm thinking if I can work my way up to 315 for six to eight here, I'll be happy, but I'm not gonna start off with it. I'm gonna start off with about 305. <laughs> bench I started off at 305 went back down to 285 it felt nice and because it felt nice of course my thinking is let's go back up <sighs> on that six. About what I expected after that first threw in this second in our routine. So this is our, our first shoulder movement. <clears throat> we're doing two shoulder movements today. One that's more compound movement like this. And then we're gonna be doing a shoulder movement, lateral raise for a nice, you know, the side delt. We also have one more chest movement that we're gonna come back to, but both of those are gonna be superseded with a tricep movement. So into our last compound exercise here. never done this exercise the z to z press you're gonna want to lighten it up it's amazing what happens that you know even when you're just a strict military pressing you don't realize how much you just kind of push a little bit and even use your legs now obviously on a push press we did a push press last week it's designed to use a lot of legs that that knee drive here all shoulders so you're static pressing it doesn't get any more static than this line it up we're not ego lifting here Just because today is focused more on the heavy stuff doesn't mean we're not gonna be supersetting. So these last four exercises will be two supersets. So back to chest, working more of an isolation movement, single joint exercise with a pec deck. So pec deck, a little bit higher reps, shooting for about 10 here. Gonna superset it with a dumbbell overhead extension. So 10 and 10, three sets here. Again, we're not doing anything crazy volume today. This is about as many reps as we're gonna do on any exercise. Because this is more of an isolation movement, slowing it down a little bit. You know, on the, on the flat bench press, we need to be quick off our chest. This, all about that concentric and the eccentric. Going nice and slow. You can see that squeeze. Nathan's got a great chest. That hair accentuates it too, I think. It really does. Freaking Magnum PI. There's the a smile. Nice. nice. You know, I just show, oh, sorry, go ahead. That's okay, I was gonna say one of the key things we're focusing on there as well, you can see, is bringing the elbows in. 
a lot of people see on the pec deck, they're really putting the hands in. You see the difference there in the chest engagement, to actually bringing the elbows in, you can see the contraction through the middle of the chest. That's like a fundamental in any fly motion is actually with elbow positioning rather than weights coming together. Movement gets a little bit harder if you're going here to come to here. Try to touch those elbows, you know, just like our fly movement there, bringing our elbows together. If you're out here, it's a little bit easier to engage more anterior delt. The minute you go here, a lot of long head in the tricep. The part of the workout, you start wanting to extend that set by talking a little bit too much in between. So focus in, a little mental check. Last set here, and then we're jumping into our final super set. Bigger chest, bigger chest, 2020, bigger chest. Uh, drop set. They said, you know, I've been saying 2020 is the year of the woman. It should also mean year of the booby, which should also mean year of the chest. I'm convinced. The chest isn't gonna build itself, Alec. True, Steve. Oh. This gives me strength. It says Flex USA. It really makes me feel good being here in Australia, seeing good old US of A. meant to fail. If you're not going to failure into 2020, then what are you doing? My last super set, save the juiciest for last. That's not really quite true. We're just, we're doing what we have left, basically. I don't want to lie to you guys, which is still good. We have a dumbbell lateral raise, which really, I'm going to treat every one of these as a drop set. So I'm going to be doing three sets. Each one's a drop set. That's one of my weak areas, my upper chest and that side lateral like my side deltoid. So, we're gonna be doing drop sets on each and every one of the dumbbell lateral raises. We're supersetting that with a reverse grip, that supinated grip, tricep extension. Every good tricep workout includes one at least over the head and one press down or dip. So, if I'm only doing two exercises for tricep like I am in this workout, one's gonna be overhead and one's gonna be an extension of sorts. So. We're gonna jump right into it. We got three sets each. We're shooting for eight to 10 reps. You can get up to 12 on these and I'm still gonna be okay with it. But especially on this, you know, we're gonna hit 10, drop set, do as many as you can. But we should walk out here still with a nice pump. And then later on in the week, that's gonna be when we do a little bit more overall volume. Really, we didn't go higher than 10 reps today. Mostly six to eight on things. Later on in the week is gonna be that 12 to 15 range. A lot of supersets. Good burn. Really think about trying to, you have two windows that you're trying to throw those dumbbells out from rather than pulling up, come out to the side.
next exercise. And we all know, if you wanna have a big year, you gotta have big triceps. If you want your 2020 to be big, make sure you're training your triceps to be big. Can Remember, you we want it? what's that? We want it. We want it this big. This big. Remember, triceps are really two thirds of your arm. So, while great biceps are nice, triceps really, if you wanna beat your buddy in like, a, let's say, an arm size competition. Yeah, Jake, I'm coming to chew, man. Then train triceps. Twenty twenty starting off real good. We've lifted two out of the last three days. That was more than I ended the whole month of December with. Very solid. As you can see, Nathan's 2020 is looking really big. It's gonna be a big 2020 for him. So hey, if you guys are watching on my channel, make sure you go check out Nathan's channel. Uploads great, heaps good. Not just fitness, but heaps of fashion content as well. And you can see him rocking the off-whites. Got the little spikes on there. Thank you for training today. A pleasure. It was good, good training session. Nice Always and fun. warm in here. As you can see, it's a little bit of a sweat. And if I'm sweating, am I sweating? I don't really sweat a whole lot. I sweat enough for both of us, so yeah. it's fine. It's, it's good. I feel like it means you're healthy. I feel like sometimes if you don't sweat, you might wanna, are you dead already? Are you dead, are you dead already? Um, but yeah, you wanna go shoe shopping? Let's go shoe shopping. Oh, I better say, hey, if you guys like this video, go check out Nathan's video. Also, click that subscribe button below. Um, we're on our way to 1.5 million on YouTube in the next six months. We're doing it. Bacardi and Cola, do it. Do it. Do just what you want. You're the one I try.